All right, everybody, let me keep it at 1 million percent because that's all I ever do. I literally just woke up and I found out that there was a new update to this game, which excites me genuinely because I always like new updates to this game. Whether they're good, bad, happy, sad, I don't really care. I just want to know if there's any cool updates to this game. And there actually is an update, like I just said. It's a ventilation update. You know, there was a ventilation on the roof and it really had no purpose. Now we can actually use it to our advantage. Also, Yandere Dev said something at the end of this blog post that got me curious there's some boxes in the basement and we can come up with our own theories about what they're about i'm gonna do that right now but the real purpose is on the actual website he tells us what the actual purpose of the boxes is i'm gonna check that out right now and we're gonna see if we can come up with some cool theories if you guys cool with that you down with that everybody get ready and buckle up because here we go but yeah everybody i just woke up i still got that crust in my eye you know that crust the one that is like looking like little eye boogers i think that's what they're literally called my mom is filling Filipino, she calls them muta, so I grew up just calling them muta, but they're called eye boogers, okay? But yeah, these are the boxes. They look like your run-of-the-mill every day. I just moved in this bitch, and I'm too lazy to throw these boxes out type boxes. I'm just gonna assume that they're filled with clothes and, I don't know, serial killer vibes? But you know what? He gave us the answer on the website, so let's just check out what it actually is. The plan is that yandere chan is supposed to find a tape in the basement whenever she rearranges the furniture in the basement. She would rearrange the furniture in the basement every time she adds a new kidnap victim to her basement. So, the only way to unlock all the basement tapes would be to kidnap all 10 rivals. As a result, the rest of the basement tapes won't be added to the game until more rivals are in the game. So, if anybody called that before I actually read what the purpose of the boxes actually were, I want you to take a lie detector test because I don't believe you. Alright, so let's teleport to the roof and the ventilation system should be right over here. Yep, right on the money, baby. I just woke up and I'm still right on the money. So, this is basically a floor plan of the first floor and this is the second floor the third floor and obviously a ventilation system wouldn't be on the roof but it says if you come here with a box of stink bombs you can fill one room with a horrible stench causing its inhabitants to evacuate it for a few minutes you can craft stink bombs at the workbench in the workshop if you bring a bag of balloons and a bottle of ammonia it actually says balloons but you know what like i said i just woke up so i'm gonna let it slide you can find balloons in the backstage area of the gymnasium and you can find a bottle of ammonia in the chemistry lab i'm definitely not doing that because like i said i'm a lazy sob so we are gonna get a drop and we are gonna get them stinky shits Flash. right over there and we're just gonna pop these suckers in here which one are we going to do the only place that has people in it right now because the students are still coming to school is the faculty room or the counselor's office wait can i throw it in the counselor's office hold on wait the counselor's in there and she's in a closed door with closed windows, so she's basically... What's it called when you, like, fart in a thing? Is it called a Dutch oven? I think it's called a Dutch oven. She's in Can here. Can I help you? I guess she likes the stench. I can't report anything. Don't misbehave. Can I report that ass? Because it smells like it. But yeah, it's literally green as ass in here, and she is just, like, on her laptop. She probably has, like, pink eye by now, but she's committed to her work. I respect it. But anyway, we wasted the good surprise on her, and that kind of pisses me right off. So we are what going to get need? more drops of the what? stink bombs, and we are going to do it in the faculty office because I think those teachers, they have a strong sense of smell, so they're going to react to it better than the counselor. That girl is like the Terminator or something. Like, she don't react to shit. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna put the stink bombs in the faculty room and I kind of wish that there was a camera like on the top left or right or anywhere that shows that the teachers actually went out the room and yeah they're all gone okay so we can do stuff like steal answer sheets or you know we can steal faculty key cards or if we're really mischievous you know if we're really about that life you know we Good set a job. bug Ooh, actually no little paper clips oh i stole the paper clips Ooh. i'm sorry everybody i guess i got a lot more attitude when i just wake up so what we're gonna do actually wait we already had the stink bombs there's nowhere else to stink bomb this bitch wait can i stink bomb the what's his name the the headmaster's office i want him to run unless he likes that stinky shit too so let's go to floor number three let's do headmaster's office and hopefully he actually ran out of there. I mean, it would make sense that he would run out of there, right? Because there's some actually cool things in here, like a katana for your mama, and this it's, bitch is just in here you. smelling that asshole. Bro, this man likes that asshole stink. I bet he orders Taco Bell and just farts in his car, puts the windows all the way up because he looks like a sick freak. He really do look like a sick freak. But yeah, uh, we have the stinky ass gas in here and my man is just inhaling this thing. You know, if you're going to make a stink bomb thing in a ventilation system, it should affect 100% of the people and not just a few people. Like the headmaster and the guidance counselor shouldn't be immune to the smell. 
but where else can we put these things at? Shoe lockers. Wait, we can put it in the shoe lockers? So that means whenever anybody goes to the lockers, we can get them to get out of there. I guess that makes some sense if you want to do something in the very beginning of the day, because that's really the only time they go, or at the very end of the day. But other than that, like in the middle of the school hours, they never really go to the shoe lockers, so there wouldn't be a point to put it there. So where can we put this? Um, I guess we can put it in like the martial arts club because they're usually in there. Or the cooking club, they're usually going around the school. I guess the photography club and the science club. And that's pretty much it because everybody else is out and about in the rooms. But let's put it in the faculty room one time because there's actually another update to this game that happened a while back, but I didn't check it out because it was like the only update and I was kind of like, you know what? I guess I'm not going to check it out. There's like a little Bunsen burner in one of the rooms right here. I think it's right over here. There you go. Yeah. So it's a portable Bunsen burner and you can light that ass up. We don't have to use the candle from the occult club no more. So what I was going to do, I was going to put the stink bombs inside of the faculty room. And then I'm going to do the tripwire trap, get one of them covered in gasoline, and then put the Bunsen burner on that ass. Like, for example, I'm going to put the Bunsen burner right there. That is legit. That is the perfect spot. Put that right here. And wait, no. Put it at a little angle. Like that. There you go. I'm a perfectionist. Tripwire trap. Okay. So that is the most legit tripwire trap that I've ever done in the history of this damn game. So we're just going to wait for the senseis to come back. I think that they went out in the front because where else would they go? If they smell that stinky shit inside of a school, I'm pretty sure their ass is gasping for air. But, oh, there they are. Okay, they just ran all the way over there. A little bit dramatic, don't you think? All right, everybody. The teachers are all coming back in conga line fashion. We are just going to wait for her to sit down. What the heck? Why? Why the hell did nobody trip that shit? What? You all saw that, right? Hold on. Create tripwire trap. Okay, create it again. What? That kind of behavior is completely unacceptable. I believe that a trip to the guidance counselor is in order. Before they ran in there, you all saw that freaking string hanging in like a booger out of a nose. Like, that thing was so set up that I thought it was the most beautiful thing that I've ever seen. But for some reason, it was just glitched out. Hold on, we gotta do that thing again. Okay, so let's put that back in the faculty room. And then when they go out, I'm gonna trip this up. And I have a feeling that it's gonna do the same exact shit again. I have a feeling that they're gonna sit down and then the tripwire trap is gonna glitch. But I kinda wanna see where they go though. Cause when I went outside, they actually ran all the way over here. They ran here. But where did they go? Where is here? Like, did they go all the way to the garden? I think they did, huh? No? They didn't. Where the hell did they go? They just disappeared. What the fuck? Wait, I think they went all... They went inside of the garden. God damn, all the way to the garden? Did it stink that bad? So it said the tripwire trap got dismantled. I don't think that you can trip up the teachers no more with the tripwire trap. Let me that see if he updated that. Okay, I'm scrolling all the way to the April 15th build, and I don't see anything new. One thing I will say, though, is that I've had a few of these little VTuber Yandere Dev videos pop up. I have no idea why, but they look just like this. Hello, I just uploaded a new build. And I'm here to tell you what it's about. That's not what I'm talking about, though. But it looks in the similar style of this. Let me show you what I'm talking about. Like, look at this one. This one was uploaded from a person named Miyuji Shan. It says, Stan Twitter Yandere Dev Fiverr Test. Slay, gaslight, gatekeep, girl boss, and repeat to be a baddie. We stan. I don't know what that was. I don't know why that was. I don't know who that was. I swear that's Yandere Dev, but it could just be like a program that just like simulated his voice, but I hope I never see that again. Actually, I said let's go back to the game, but that's pretty much it, everybody. Um, that's what the update is. There's a ventilation system. You put them stinky what shits inside of there, and people are like, holy shit, who let that thing loose? And then they just go out of the room. Before I actually do anything, I kind of want to see if the nurse is going to leave. Or if she just takes it like a G and she just inhales that shit. So we put it inside the infirmary. I'm pretty sure that she's not gonna leave, right? She's not gonna leave? Nope, she don't care. She's a freaking boss. No, she's not a boss. Oh, she got lost in the sauce. She actually runs out of there. That's crazy. But yeah, um, everybody just walks in, immediately smells that green gas. Uh, ways that we can improve this, in my opinion, is that we could also use it as like a transporting system. Like you can go inside of the vent, right? Or nah? I mean, there would be a way, like you put the screwdriver into this bitch and then you go in it 
and then maybe you can crawl through any of these ways because what we have right now is obviously the debug commands where we can teleport to like the roof or the front of the school or the gardening club or whatever but once the debug commands are gone the only way we can actually teleport is probably through here but then some people might be like oh that's way too easy so how about you can just go through the vent and then once you're out you can't go back in you know like uh the vent will be at the very top of the classroom and you have to have a screwdriver to unlock it both ways so you can go into like let's say the cooking club and then once you're in the cooking club let's say the vent is like right here at the very top so the, it'd be impossible for you to get back up so you can only go one way does that even make sense like you can only go inside of the vent and then into the cooking club but you can't go into the cooking club into another room so you can only teleport one way i don't even know i don't even know if that makes any sense but it would be a cool idea to use it as like a transporting system let me know what you think about this update in the comment section down below in my opinion it's all right i'd say like out of 10 it's probably like a three or a four like i couldn't care less if it was in the game i just wanted to check it out it was uh, it was whatever it was whatever to me but yeah this is the new ventilation system if you have any ways that you think that you can improve it let me know down low in the comments below but if you're excited for the next update and you want me to play it make sure you give this video one big fat like and tell a friend today that jay from the cub scouts is that dude <laughs>